Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to the preview lesson. The first course on the SS Academy is going to be about the human intellect. Now, you must be wondering what made me choose this particular topic despite having a plethora of other topics to choose from. And it is none other than the prevailing situations of the current world, which many would describe as being messed up. And this obviously is rooting from the fall of human intellect. Because of the fall of human intellect, we see a lot of mess ups on an individual level and also on a communal level. Individually, we see a lot of people who are distressed, depressed and with the quarantine and lockdown the divorce rates are soaring and even on a communal level we see rising numbers of terrorism militancy and vandalism all this is because we have not realized the importance of developing our intellect so that we can apply it in our lives when you look at the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we see that they can be predominantly divided into three categories. We have the plants, animals, and of course the humans. Plants, on the surface level, they have the body. They have the sensory perceptions to interact with the world. The animals not just have a body and the senses that come with it, but they have a mind. They have likes, dislikes. They have feelings and humans are on the top of the pyramid. They not only have a body and a mind, but they also have been given the intellect, the ability to judge, reason, contemplate and think. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the plants and animal a fitrah. You can call it like a program by which they should live by. They have no ability whatsoever to go against the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is not the case for human beings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also given us human beings the free will with which we can even do tasks against Allah's desire. So we can very easily understand that this free will should be used very carefully. If not like a wildfire, it can not only destroy us, but it can also destroy those around us and the world, which is what we are seeing in today's world. This has been beautifully captured in the conversation between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels. The very first time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was introducing the first ever human being, Adam alayhi salam, to the angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Baqarah, Ayah 30, A'udhu billahi min shaytani rajeem. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً قَالُوا أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ We see the angels understood the destruction that can come about because of the misuse of free will and they are saying Will you place upon earth someone who will spread corruption, facade, and those who will shed blood? And we can clearly see this is exactly what's happening in today's world. We are misusing our free will because we can see facade all around us. And we can see innocent people killed. We see unnecessary shedding of blood, which again points to the importance of us not just understanding what the intellect is, but also improving it on a daily basis so we can not just benefit ourselves, but also save the world. And you might be wondering at this point, how can we develop our intellect? How can we sharpen our intellect? How can we tame this superpower that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us called the free will? And the hint to that has been mentioned in several times in the short passage where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capturing the conversation that he had with the angels and that is with knowledge. The word ilm, knowledge and the derivations have been captured several times in this short passage. And when we move a bit further from the ayah that I just recited, 
we see the angel say, "Allu Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma allamtana inna ka atal alimul hakim." We see there is no word in the Quran that is mentioned without divine wisdom. There is a reason behind why a certain word is present instead of another word. Here, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is mentioned is Al-Alim and Al-Hakim. Whereas if we go a bit further, we see in ayah number 37, Allah uses the word Al-Tawwab and Al-Rahim. The name Al-Alim and Al-Hakim has not been placed just for the sake of mentioning the names. But there is divine wisdom. Because we see Al-Alim refers to Allah's attributes of all-knowing and Al-Hakim refers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the all-wise. So we have knowledge and we have wisdom and these are two different things. Knowledge refers to knowing something, intelligence, whereas hikmah, wisdom, is not just in the knowing of a particular thing but it is knowing when to use it. Knowledge is to know and hikmah is to do with the correct application with what we know because several times we see people they have knowledge they're smart but they lack the wisdom because of which they get into trouble despite having the knowledge so with this understanding we can clearly say that ilm alone will not bring about success we need to couple ilm with hikmah we need to couple knowledge with wisdom so the question arises what is the missing link between ilm and hikmah what is the missing link between knowledge and wisdom? And that is intellect. Intellect is the ability to think, reason, judge, contemplate. In a way, we will know how and where we can apply the knowledge that we know. And sharpening the intellect will not only allow us to become smarter and wiser, but it will also enable us to use our ill efficiently and with this we can conclude that having ilm alone will not bring about success and talking about success we see that success is something that concerns an individual let's say we have a circumstance and we'll make it a tough circumstance and we'll send two individuals into this circumstance and we see that from the same circumstance one individual may come out as successful and another one will fail and almost 100% of the time, the person who succeeds in a particular circumstance is the one who uses his intellect. And it is so sad that today close to 0% of us lack intellect. We don't think about the importance of intellect. We don't even acknowledge it as something. We only promote seeking knowledge and not sharpening the intellect. And as a result, even with the knowledge we gain, we can't apply it properly and bring about transformation that will benefit us and others. Now, let's say you have a machine. If you don't use that machine for some time, you will not be able to use it later on because it gets rust and corrupted and this is the same for even a muscle. If you don't use a muscle for a long time, you use the ability to use that muscle forever. And this is the same with our intellect. If we don't use our intellect, if we don't actively participate in sharpening our intellect, the lack of intellect will become a part of our identity. And we can't detach ourselves from this negative identity which is why it is important first and foremost we acknowledge the importance of intellect and take it upon ourselves as a personal responsibility and hold ourselves accountable to be of those who sharpen our intellect on a daily basis and it is because of the lack of human intellect the fall of human intellect we see a lot of corruption on earth we see a lot of bloodshed on earth and we need to stop that and let's start with developing our intellect inshallah it is because of the dire need for us to understand the importance of intellect and the application of it in our life i thought that the human intellect is a very pertinent topic to 
talk about in our first ever course on the SS Academy. You can find more details about Soul Sister Circle in the description below. And I humbly urge you to really work on developing your intellect. The lack of intellect today has led to divisions, demarcations, and it has engendered bitterness and hatred. And we need to put an end to it now. So let us work towards developing our intellect. Let us save ourselves and save the world. I hope to catch you soon with a new video. Till then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa